uh, IBM Watson Studio do-it-yourself tutorials. We talked about how to create a project in Watson Studio. We created one, BDCS Predictive Analytics Customer Churn. In this project, we looked at the different tabs in the last one and also looked at the data set we need to get. Download the customer underscore churn underscore data, which is from the GitHub repository, the link for which is provided in the previous video, video number one. And then come back to this, go to assets, and there is an icon 1001 to load the data. And load the data, click on browse. Now, the downloaded data, the customer churn underscore data, you have to unzip it and then upload these two files churn.csv and customer.csv. Click on open and you would see that these two files are uploaded in the data repository. Now, let's understand and look at the data. So I'll just click on customer.csv and it opens up in the preview mode. As a data scientist, you will have to understand the data which is being provided here. You have customer ID, gender, male, female, marital status, children, estimated income, car owner, age, and data type is string. Long distance call, so this is a telecom company's data which is provided by IBM. This data is provided by IBM, a disclaimer. This is IBM data. So long distance, international, local calls dropped, payment method. So based on this, we are gonna predict for a telecom customer, what, which customers are at high risk of leaving your service. You can also do small uh, data refining process on this data set as well. So click on this refine and it will open the data in an edit mode where you can do a data refine, refining, refinery, a refined, uh, refining screen, screen over here like this. And then uh, I wanna change, change the age, which is a string data type to uh, uh, an integer. So go from here say convert column and click on decimal and there you go the h column is now converted into decimal and you can also see here that these are the steps saying that converted h from string to a decimal you can also do lots of other calculations i'm not gonna show you all so once you have done that just click on run data refinery flow and say save and run and the next time when you upload the customer.csv just run it and uh, you can it says the data refinery flow is running you can view its progress on summary and runs say view flow and you will see that the data refining process status would be completed in a few minutes it's going to take some time I'm going to pause the video. We'll put it back on when it's done recording, running. See that the status is completed and then the output is also ready. If I go back to my project, in the asset section, you will also see a customer.csv shaped .csv. So <clears throat> what I can do is I can get rid of uh, the initial customer.csv and uh, rename this or while running the refinery so let me go back in here and i'm just showing you the same method in a different type so click on refine as we did the last time and uh, then i'm going to convert the age from text from text to decimal and when you see run it asks you what would be the location. So what you can do is you can overwrite the same customer.csv. So instead of creating a new CSV as an output, I'm going to overwrite the customer CSV itself. 
and then I can save and run the flow. So the flow already exists. We need to change the flow name as well. So I would say flow underscore two, save and run the flow. And then what will happen this time is the output would override the input itself. So the customer.csv, it's going to be overwritten. So what I did was instead of having two different CSV files, one as the input customer.csv and as an output CSV underscore shape, I ran the same thing but overwrote the input file just to make sure that we just have two files, we don't have three files. So let it run. So this was running. I can see the, the status by clicking on link and you see that uh, it's completed. So it's completed now. The customer.csv file, which is which was my output, sorry, input, is now updated. So let me open this and you can see that the age is now decimal. So going back in here, I'm going to delete this CSV shaped and I am left with only two files, which is customer and churn. Now let, let's look at the churn here. So the churn tells me that what are the customers who left, that means false and true means they are still with the company. It's just two column table saying that based on customer ID, who left and who did not, who is still with us. This is just to have historical data set. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to merge both of these and create a new file out of a combination. So I'm going to join customer and customer churn. In order to join this, I'm going to click on this and you would see that uh, there are a lot of uh, options so so actions refine on the customer and i'm going to open the refine for customer next click on the operation here in the data refinery section for customer csv click on the operation and then scroll down there is a join click on join and you can see it says add data set click on add data set Select churn and click on apply. You can see here that both of this table are showing here. It says join. I would say ID to ID. So I'm joining the customer ID to the ID for the churn. ID to ID join. Click on the next year and click on apply and you can see that uh, the data source left join data from churn id to id and once these steps are done i'm going to click on run data refinery flow and then in the output i'm going to say edit output and i'm going to say customer underscore churn which is both of these files are clubbed together. .csv will be my output file. Click on write and then just I'm going to run this. I'm going to change the name as well. I'm going to say customer join churn. So underscore underscore and say apply and just click on save and run flow. So as soon as I save and run flow, both of these data sets would be joined and customer underscore churn dot CSV will be created. Process completed and then go back to the projects assets and you would see customer underscore churn is generated. And these are the data sets coming in from uh, the customer And then you can see the churn, which is the column coming in from uh, from the churn.csv file. 
so this is uh, the start so this data is then going to be used for the the analysis on customer churn so this is the data preparatory step in which we got the customer and the customer uh, the churn for those customers we joined them and ran a data refine reflow so you can see that how it can it can help watson studio can help you to do the customer chart so once this file is created i click on the file again and go back to this uh, data set and then click on profile as soon as i click on profile what will happen is i can do some uh, analysis on the data profile so click on create profile it's going to take some time see that uh, it says the frequency of gender identifier organization name code so you can see a lot of profiling information the data quality for each of the profile and then uh, you can also to the statistics what is the unique minimum maximum minimum length maximum length this is going to help understand the data in much better way the data is ready for customer churn and this would be our input file for our data science experience experiments so in the next video we're going to see how you can run and deploy environments on python r scala and then uh, you know use some watson studio as well so thank you for watching uh, please follow our next video as well